What's up, Bay fam, and welcome back to another short video. Yes, today's gonna be another short video before I do my battle marathon with all of my pro series versus Prime Apocalypse with the um, Eclipse armor or the that game, Big Bang armor. Today's video is gonna concentrate on the test pin of both Yenesis and Bellfire, and of course, Yenesis with both on and off with the armor. Of course, the first test is gonna be with on. And the second one is going to be with off. So let's start first with Bellfire, of course, because, well, technically Belial, because it's sort of his piece in being one of the newest one I got so far. So let's go with a quick test spin of this amazing bag. Three, two, one, one, one. So that's one thing I like about the um, Venture Driver. It is for an attack type, but it's kind of a calm driver, almost like a stamina type because it doesn't go too much ethic and it's able to keep perfect balance with the bay itself it's one of the things I like really much about it so that's for Belial now let's go with Genesis I'm gonna put the Eclipse armor on or in that case the Big Bang armor there we go, big bang armor on. Right spin bay, defense type. Three, two, one. So of course it has all of its original piece, including the yard the metal yard driver. Um or is it yard metal or metal yard? I don't remember. Let me just check the box, it's right here. Sorry if you saw my face for two seconds. It's yard metal. Okay, yeah. So <laughs> It has its original yarn metal on, which is not that bad of a driver. It's not considered one of the best one, but it's not that bad, honestly. It has some some potential to it. Now, let's try without the armor. So, Genesis without the armor. And like I said, it's just for a test spin, just for why not. Three, two, three. Now, as you can see, even without the armor, the base stay pretty much stable as a defense type. So that's a pretty good thing, actually, when you think about it. And honestly, I did some test battle between him and, and the Apocalypse. And honestly, with or without the armor, they're both great base. I can even do a battle if you want me to right now in this video to make it less short than what it's supposed to be. So I'm going to take my trusty two launcher and put both Genesis and my Prime Apocalypse in with no armor at first. So let's try this. Round one, three, two, one, go! Now one of them being a defense type and one of them being a defense type. It might be a different battle than you think actually. Oh! And by seven and finish, the point goes to Prime Apocalypse first. Now, we're gonna do one round without the armor, then a secondary round with Genesis with the armor, and then a third round with Apocalypse with the armor. So, let's see if one of them is going to burst or not. Now, round two of match one. Three, two, one, go! It turns two out of three. So, if Apocalypse gets another point, it's gonna be two wins for Apocalypse for the first match. But seeing how slow he gets, yeah, to the coin and to the count of it, I think it was pretty much a tie. That one. So let's go for round two, round three. More precise. Oops, not to make too much lights. Okay. <laughs> three, two, one, go. And the armor doesn't, and the uh, arena doesn't move that much. As you can see, as a defense type, Genesis takes this in the center stage, which is pretty much basic for a defense type, of course. But for Apocalypse comes with some strike of his own. Oh, damn, another time! It looks like it was a tie, but I'm not sure. Just for the sake of argument, let's go for another round. Three, two, one, go!
the ultimate reboot. And that's one point for Genesis. It's one to one. Let's go with round five. The crazy thing the right round five. Three, two, one. Oh! Round five of this first matchup without the armor for any of them. Oh, <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Genesis bursted. It was a slow mo burst, but it bursted. Oh my god. Okay. I didn't see that one coming. Okay. That's crazy when you think about it. Wow. I wasn't expecting that. Honestly, that was a surprise. And the winner is clearly Prime Apocalypse. Let's go with Genesis with the armor on. So, Jesus with the armor on. Once again, first to two. Best to have three, technically. So, the first one to two points wins. And that's crazy because Prime of Codex got three points on the rat match. Okay. Three, two, one, go! Prime Pokemon doesn't seem to have that much attack power without the armor. And Genesis seems to have a lot of stamina, thanks to the armor actually. I think the armor does help both of them due to the fact that it gives them a little bit more um, aerodynamic, maybe? Not sure. But it does seem to help them quite a few. So, Prime Pokemon 0 on the secondary matchup, and Genesis 1. 3, 2, what the second no, even though he doesn't have the armor, he does some good strike. But his stamina is low and the win goes to Genesis. So Genesis won the secondary matchup with the armor on. Let's see if Prime Pocapes can win the third matchup with the armor on. Because he didn't get any point during the last matchup. So let's see that in action. And also, yeah, that's the thing I did try as well on a tournament that I participated last Tuesday. I did use Prime Pocket versus some Terracotomy Bays. And he lost many times, actually. <laughs> so now this time it's Prime Pocket with the, Genesis, uh, with the Big Bang Armor. The Big Bang Theory armor. Sorry. Round one. Three, two, one, seven. Uh -huh. Enhances attack power. But it does seem to have given a bit of an edge on the stamina and balance. And that's one point. But again, an attack type against a defense type without its magic power, it's pretty much a win win guarantee, I think. But we'll see. Round two. Let's see if we can re uh, repeat history. Oops. Three, two, one. Go. And that's 2-1, two 2-0. To two to Congratulations to Prime Apocalypse. Honestly, I really love him. He looks so good, so slick. And I did some modification, as you can see, I put this uh, um, Forge Disc with it. I'm not exactly sure of the name of the Forge Disc, maybe someone could tell me it in the comments. But honestly, I think he looks good and he's able to pack a bunch. So yeah, that was it for this video of test battle with my, well, technically test spin slash battle between Genesis and Prime Apocalypse. I hope you guys like it and I hope you enjoy it. And until next time guys, as always, I spin out. But before I uh, close in this video, I have to remember you guys, I'm also gonna do a little battle marathon technically. It's gonna be all my uh, all my Pro Series base that I still have with me versus my amazing uh, Prime Apocalypse with the Big Bang Armor. So until then guys, like I said before, 
pin and stay safe and spin out.